Hi, this is Jim Dubois from Brady Tech. Continuing with our 101 how-to video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add phones and emails after you've already purchased a farm. Go ahead and log into your Title Toolbox account. Go to farming, and again, you could do radius boundary, or in this case, I'm doing an area search. California, San Diego. Zip code I want to work in. Nine two, excuse me, one oh three. Then just work your way across the tabs as I've been demonstrating over the last few videos. Let's drop condos out. For this video, I'm going to go back in to custom filters. And on this video, I am going to do empty nesters. That's 30 years of ownership. Yes, I want empty nesters in that zip code 92103. Get count. 371 empty nesters. Download view records. The map is on the left here. Properties on the right. I'm going to go ahead and save this farm. I'm in the zip code 92103. I have a empty nester list. I want to save this farm for now. I can name it. The name farm. Empty nest of video farm. Save. Three hundred and seventy one properties. I'm successful. If I go to farming, and there is a video on how to locate your farm, but if I go to farming, down to farms, save farms. There's my empty nest to farm. I select the farm and bring it up. So for whatever reason, when I created this farm, I did not add phone numbers. So now, thought of an afterthought, I want to add phone numbers. Premier data. If this wasn't a safe farm, Premier data would read edit search. One and the same, Premier data. Phones and emails. Again, there's a video on phones and emails. I will mention that these are not scrubbed against the Do Not Call registry. I want to buy phones and emails. Yes. I'll click the button. I can limit records if you weren't aware of that. And I'm going to buy a dozen. Get count. Sixty cents for phones and email. Pay now. There's a video on our YouTube channel about the wallet. Farm name. I'm going to name this. And I'll just call it contact information. All right, empty nesters, test video, contact information. We have an auto spell correction. Pay secure. The point of this video is twofold. One, to let you know that yes, you can purchase 
respond to email after the fact. The other purpose of this is here's your farm now, 12 properties with phones and emails, and you can read that we're still working on locating those phones and emails. But if I go into farming, down to save farms, the second point I want to make, oh, excuse me, my error, farming down to save farms. The second point I want to make here is this. Here's the original farm, empty nester video farm with my 371. If you remember, just for the sake of this, I could have bought all 371, but I only bought 12. Now, the drawback is I have two farms. These farms are identical. This farm is a replicate of the video farm here. And if I had 371, it would be identical. The only difference is this one now has phone and email. Certainly you can do that. Many users do purchase phones and emails afterwards. I strongly suggest that you would purchase phones and emails at the time you create the farm, because now you have two separate farms. Nothing wrong with that. That might even be your preference. But personally, I would put the phones and emails on once you purchase the farm. And then, of course, your phones and emails would be right here. So if we locate any emails, it looks like we didn't locate emails. But if we did, there would be a column for emails right here. And there is a video on exporting if I wanted to take these out of the system.